Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory, and on this episode, we're going to be finishing up our Tier 5 and Tier 6. We've just got a couple more things that we need to be able to get finished up to wrap those up, so sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. Alright, so let's have a look at what we need to be able to get our milestones completed for Tier 5 and Tier 6. So, first one is alternate Alternative Fluid Transport. Um, we just need to be able to get gather up some of the materials that we're already manufacturing. This shouldn't be too big of a deal. The other one that we've got to get done is gas masks, of which we need to get into fabric manufacturing. Well, we don't have any mycelium yet, so we're going to have to go on a little bit of a walkabout to find some mycelium. Uh, mycelium. And then if we look at Tier 6, we've got jetpacks, which require um, packaged fuel. We only need 50 of those, so we'll probably just set up a quick little line um, to be able to rip off some of the fuel that we're using in our fuel generators to quickly manufacture those out. And then under monorails is computers and heavy modular frames, uh, steel beams and steel pipe, of which all of these are being manufactured. And then pipe engineering Mark II to be able to get our Mark II pipes and our Mark II pumps. And we have everything being manufactured for those. So first things first, let us have a look here in our tier five alternative fluid let's gather up these things to be able to turn this in alrighty so we've gathered up our supplies for our next turn in here so we're going to alternative fluid transportation oh i don't have near enough copper we gotta go buy we gotta go grab a whole pile more copper i needed three thousand of them and i've only got 1400 so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, that should be enough. That should do it to turn those in. That's a lot of copper wire that it needed. Good thing we've got a lot of constructors dedicated to be able to make that for us. So we can select this milestone and let's put all our copper wire in first, get that taken care of. And then we'll go with the plastic and the motors, of which it takes 100 of those, and our heavy modular frames launch away. Alternative fluid transport is now completed. Milestone reached. Fluids can now be packaged to allow for transportation via vehicle and conveyor belts. Additionally, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. So here's the thing, we can now do Ooh, highly improved biofuel can now be produced. Hold on a second. What does that mean? Let's go get some rubber first, but I'm wondering if I can use up, I've got a bunch of, of like as I'm using all of the plastic and all of the oil and all of the heavy oil residue, it's all getting used up down here. So I kind of don't want to pull from there, but I'm wondering if I can use biofuel and use it with the packager to be able to make what is required for the packaged fuel for one of the other milestones we've got to do. So let us have a look at getting that built. So we'll start with the packager and see what we need and then what we can do to get biofuel made. Because, I mean, I've got solid biofuel right now but if there's a a way that we can make a, a like a, a fluid based biofuel that might actually be all right so we're going to throw just the packager down here just to have a look at it right now so packager does require um plastic containers and um just fuel and that is going to make packaged fuel 60 packaged fuel per minute we need 60 fuel and 60 of the plastic containers. Okay, so then what do we've got? So if we look at the refineries, is there something in the refineries here that we can do this new biofuel they're talking about? Liquid biofuel is done from solid biofuel and water combined to make 60 liquid biofuel per minute. I wonder do you think? I'm wondering if that works the same way as regular fuel for making those canisters. Um, I guess the only thing is, is would be to, to put it all together and try it and see what happens. We have a water line that's over there. We have 
a stash of solid biofuel sitting right here. I don't need a large pile of it. So this is something that can just be like a little manual configuration for this. We have 300 cubic meters of water over there because I, I brought enough way over off into the distance there that we can play with this. So I am going to, yeah, we'll put one of these together and then see if we can use this. The only downside is, is do I have enough plastic that I can make the containers? Those are probably done from what a constructor, I'm going to assume. Let's have a look at one of the constructors here and see if yeah here we are here's the empty container it requires 30 plastic per minute i'm gonna have to do some math here and figure out how much of this plastic per minute i have left over from our circuit boards and our computers that we're making so let me see if i need to make more plastic than what we're doing right now okay so here i thought this was going to be a fantastic idea so would you grab some water and i grab the biofuel it's now making liquid biofuel. Liquid biofuel will feed into here, but then it becomes packaged liquid biofuel, not packaged fuel. So for our turn in down here, if we run all the way back down, of which I got to find my way down here, I've started to make a, a few more paths so I can get around. So we just got to fly around. We're going to go have a look at that turn in. I'm pretty sure I can't substitute liquid biofuel. I think it has to be liquid fuel or packaged fuel, which is kind of a shame because I didn't want to have to pull any of the fuel offline. Now, I don't need a lot of it, just enough to be able to turn it in. But this is for jetpacks. I need 50 fuel so fuel package fuel or all uh, for alternative transport can be used as fuel for vehicles i'm pretty sure this isn't going to let me substitute that for this one it would be amazing if it did liquid biofuel a package or alternative transport can be used as fuel for vehicles it's the same thing but i'm almost positive it's not going to let me turn that in. Now, with that said, I'm going to use that fuel for my jetpack so I could use up that solid biomass that we had. But, yeah. I'm still going to have to set up a packager and everything, pulling plastics from our actual rubber plant down here, or from our, our plastic manufacturing and our oil that we had down there. Which is kind of a shame, but, I mean, it is what it is. I think what I might do is I'll steal just a little bit. Like, how much does it take for fuel? Uh, let's look at this here. It takes 40 per minute. So it is going to sacrifice our power generation by actually quite a bit. Because I don't think we're making... I can't remember exactly how much we're making for fuel over there. But I think that's going to consume like half of it. But it's only until... I end up with a stack that I need for turning this in. So, unfortunately, what brilliant plan I would have had for here is not going to work. I'm still going to build this just to have it built. But it's not the solution that I need to make sure that we can move on in our milestones. Okay, so I just hopped down here. I did make uh, just a few of the packaged liquid biofuel. And yes, it's not it's not usable as an alternative for being able to turn in this milestone. So I am going to have to steal some from down here to make it all work. All right, so looking down here, I am making about, what are we, 26-ish? We're making just a, like 67, around 67, 68. And we're going to be pulling 40 off of this to be able to make our our fluid, so or our, our, our packaged fuel. So I'm just going to put a little line out here. We're just going to quickly manufacture these up and, and get them built. And then I'm going to disconnect it so that it's not pulling and not starving our generators. Because what's going to happen, as soon as I turn this on, if we look at our power here, we're pretty consistent in our power, cons our power production. 3.2 
But as I start using up a bunch of that fuel that's going in there, well, then that is, you're going to see some of these fuel generators that are over here. Ooh, I almost ran off the edge. Some of these fuel generators over here are going to like turn off and on and off and on. At least we're not going to cause anything to back up, but we are going to cause a little bit of grief here. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly slap down a constructor right here. This is going to make our packaged, our, our empty containers. So that's going to go here and we're going to just steal a very slow line. You know what? You know what? To make this a little bit more efficient, I'm only going to pull 30 off of there. What I could do is throw a splitter down here. How can I make this work? Let's go like this. Let's throw down a splitter. Uh, we'll just put it right here. And we're going to come from this line at 60 items per minute over to here. Let's just back that up because I like 90 degree corners. And then I'm going to throw a merger right in... Let's go to organization. No, logistics. Let's grab a merger. We're going to throw this in. Line right there. And then we are going to take some of this and feed it right into there. This power pole is kind of in the way. I'm not overly concerned about that. We can move things around here a little bit. What I'll do is I'll go to power. Um, we'll select a, and I need a power line. Click on the power line, click here. Click on the power line. That did not click on the power line. Let's try that again. Power line, select it. And then if we take this out, we will go right across and right across. Nothing happened. We just quickly turned it off and back on again. Have you tried turning this? That's the famous IT lines right there. Have you tried turning it off and on again? And you know what? We're just going to kick this all the way over this way so that we don't end up falling off the edge. So now I have 30 items per minute out of here that we will logistically just kind of run straight down here. That's going to be for our canisters. Now, the other thing that we need now is we've got the fuel. I guess it's just the packager. So let's throw down a don't have enough plastic on me. Let's steal a little bit of plastic out of here. This is going to starve our computer manufacturing just a tiny bit is what this is doing. Okay, so this is now crap. Oh, I guess I should probably power this because it's not going to work very well without any power. So we're just going to throw that here. Power that up. That's good to go. It's now making our empty containers for us. And it's consuming 30 plastic per minute. This will never start. Like, it, it'll have everything it needs. But I'm not going to be storing these in a big container. I'm only going to be making what I need. Um, next, then, is the packager. We're going to throw the packager down. I'm going to put it right here. Make sure it lines up. So this is going to do our containers in. And then unfortunately, I've got to steal a little bit of this fluid out of here. And so we're just going to throw a coupler right here. And then grab a pipe and connect this up. And throw some power down here, connect it up. And set it to packaged fuel. Okay. This will now, it's going to take a bit for this fuel to kind of build up and do what it needs to do. Hello, fuel. Why, why are we not taking on any fuel here? 
Why is there no fuel going into the machine? There we go. It's finally taken. It just took a while for it to kind of build up. And then, unfortunately, we're going to see some of this power start to fluctuate. I don't know how long it's going to take for it to start fluctuating, but it will. Trust me. Those will start shutting off and on as this line is filling up and starving out those. But we are starting to make... We need a total of 50 of them. So if we get a stack of 50 out of this, I'm totally fine with it. I'll steal that stack of 50. It will rebuild itself. And then everything will kind of back itself up here. And then we're not going to be starving plastic for the rest of our production. I have about 15 plastic per minute of excess. But with the other line that I'm using over there to make the, bio, the packaged biofuel... And then now this line, like we're going to be starving out our plastic a little bit until these machines are full. And I'm not throwing them in a big storage container. I, at this point, I don't need a whole lot of those kicking around. They're going to be used for a little bit of jetpacks. That's about it. So I'm not really concerned about that at this point. So the next thing I got to do is we need to go on a walkabout because I got to find some mycelium so that we can start doing the research under the uh, the fungal tree so that we can get to being able to manufacture the fabric that we'll need to compete or complete one of these uh, milestones that we're currently working towards. So let's go find a cave that's got some shrooms growing in it. Okay, so out on our exploring here, we did come across, if you look here, we have one of the new music tapes. If I could get up on this rock, let's grab that. There we go. We got one of the new music tapes for the Ghetto Blaster. Uh, kind of, I just, just random, stumbling across here. It was floating above that quartz crystal that was there. That's, that's fantastic. I'm uh, kind of excited about that. Oh, hey, and while we're here, we might as well work at getting that yellow power slug. Because we are going to need that. I'm using the Shatter Rebar here in hopes that we'll be able to kill these guys a little easier. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, I didn't reload. Whew. Hey, I, the range is definitely shorter. On that, you know what? I might be able to take this without actually... Oh, nope. We're in trouble. Wow, he's taking a beating. Can I take this one without him? Without him attacking? We got it, but I think we still got to take him out. Run away! Let's run away! Okay, that was like three good blasts. To no success. Oh, that guy really... Okay, he hurt. Wow, we are taking a feeding from this guy. Okay, I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went. Okay, so you see on this on this shatter rebar, it really spreads out if you get too far away from him. There, he's dead now. It really does spread out that whole attack, so. You want to make sure you're good and close with the shatter rebar for sure. So anyhow, I'm still on the hunt for mycelium, so let's go find some. Okay, I know where there is some mycelium. I don't know if you guys recognize this place at all, but from my last my satisfactory update five playthrough, right here is where I started my starter factory and right behind the starter factory there was a cave here that i know had some mushrooms in it it also had some nasty spiders and all kinds of other nasty guys around here wow dude, that was really loud oh, i totally shot him in the rear end i'm sure he's really pleased about that
there we go and that's how you take care of those guys okay i'm i'm kind of liking the shatter rebar i've got to got to admit you get up nice and close you get your attack in you get in and get out now are these guys here I don't think I brought my chainsaw with me. Did I? Oh, I did. Okay, that's that's okay. But did I bring any solid biofuel? Of course not. That would have made sense. Okay, well then I guess we can maybe put down a power generator over here. I wonder what it would take. Let me see what I could do about getting um, some biofuel. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I could just grab these. I don't need to cut down the big. Um... Within this fungus suggests strong molecular bonding features. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. I understand it's beneficial. Can now be I know I have a new research tree. Anyhow, there's these small mushrooms that we can gather up from my ceiling. If I had the chainsaw, I could use this one here as well, too. Ah, oh, these guys. Okay, this is probably better done with the blade. Because I gotta take this out. I gotta take them out. Okay, we are low on health. We gotta get out of here. But I'm gonna gather up all of these mushrooms here. Mycelium. And make sure I've got a pretty good pile of it. And then um, I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take back at least a few stacks of it. Um, just because I need it for the research tree. As well as we need to be able to turn it into fabric and stuff. So I'll be here for a little bit gathering this up. But when we get back, uh, when I come back, I'll be back at the base. And we will do the man research for the mycelium. Uh, we have made it back to our lovely little starter base here. And... I brought back a lot of mycelium. I basically cleaned out that cave. So what did we get? A thousand, almost 2,000 mycelium is what I brought back out of there. I cleaned it out of all of those little mushrooms. So now we can head over to the mycelia tree here and we can start cranking out some research. So that is done. Next is fabric. So I need, uh, looks like I need bio, uh, solid biomass. Or sorry, just biomass and mycelium for turning that in. We need uh, staters and biomass for that. We need explosives. Okay, so let's run down here. Because I did start relocating this. I need... Which piece do I need? It looks like I just need to actually make some biomass. Because I don't have any of it made. So I'm going to go get some of that made. Okay, the next one on the research for mycelia is fabric. This is what we need to be making for that one milestone. So we're going to get that researched out. We can now build fabric and let us go grab some staters so we can turn in um, medical properties for it. Okay, so I went and gathered up some staters back over to mycelia. Let's take this one, start that research tree that is done now there are oh if we combine it with some berries do i have enough berries here i do we can make those inhalers vitamin inhalers is what we get out of that and then next is i need a piece of that bacon tree as well as one of those um bio or alien matter chip things which is just one of these and mycelia select so uh yeah this is alien protein is what that is let's start that research that's now taken care of okay what else we need uh a bunch of fabric for that one bunch of fa a piece of fabric for this or 25 pieces of fabric for that one. Oh, no way we also need the the polyester requires the uh, that polymer, that plastic polymer. 
the polymer resin, which we weren't doing. And then what is this one? This is a bunch of cloth. So we just need to get some manufacturing and some of the cloth and stuff going now. And then we'll be we'll be we'll be moving right along here. Um, was was there much more under the explosive? No, the yeah, this one here is for the toxic cellular modification. Um, so basically, it makes like a poisonous glass gas cloud. So, but we still got a long ways to go on that one because that's under the sulfur tree, and we're not even making novelisks yet. So, kind of not really worried about that at this point. For the amount of fabric that I need, I don't know if I'm actually going to build it as a production line. It does look like I can craft it by hand. And we're not going to need huge piles of it. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. And I'm going to make a little bit of biomass out of some of my mycelium. Just because it doesn't take very much mycelium to make a lot of biomass in a hurry. So that seems to be the easiest way to take care of that. And then we can go back and make more of this fabric. And this will probably, 100 fabric might even get us pretty close to what we need to be able to get all these turn-ins done. All right, so we're whipping back over to MAM Research here. Back under Mycelia, we do have the cloth and cable that we need for that. So we're starting that research. That gets us the parachute. So hopefully no more, like, falls to our doom if I actually make them. I don't have the polymer resin. These I can turn in, though. We'll can turn that in for sure. That is expanded tool belt. We get another slot on our tool belt. So we're nearly done. I just need polymer resin, which, oh man, that's like not as convenient as I kind of need. I only need a hundred of it. Maybe I can switch one of these refineries over to make me a little bit of polymer resin that we can steal from it. So let's go to this one here. I'm going to select recipes and we're going to turn this one on real quick. Oh, that requires crude oil. Ah, uh, okay. Nope, that's fine. That's okay. Crude oil is what we need for that, which means another oil well to be able to make a little bit of polymer resin. Or, you know what, maybe I just... I don't really want to change a bunch of things over here. What can I do to make my life easier over here? Okay, let's um, look down at the rubber down here, because I don't need a lot of rubber. So let's take this line, for instance. This has got a little bit of crude oil in it, so let's just, first things first, let's turn that off. Okay, let's go over here, and we are going to change this recipe to this. Now, it's going to screw up our oil a little bit here. But, it's okay. I'm going to let this do what it needs to do so that I can get enough of this. I need 100 polymer resin. Of course, it's all going into this thing, which I don't want it to go into. Don't worry, we'll fix this. I need 100 in total out of this. So we're going to wait until I get 100 total out of this. I'm probably going to have to keep trying to think what's going to be the easiest way to get rid of that. And I think what I might do is, for now, let's go to logistics. This is really loud in here. Sorry about this. We're going to run a line here. From this, this is only temporary, so I don't care if it looks pretty. That's going to throw some fuel out. So that's going to take care of that fuel line until we can switch this back. And once I have 100 of the resin, then I could disassemble, disassemble that and put it back to the way it was. Okay, so we've gathered up that polymer resin. Now we can go back to the mycelia tree here and we can turn in the synthetic polyester fabric. Start that research. That is now taken care of. Which I think is just another alternate recipe is basically what that ended up being. Uh, so the only thing left in here is toxic cellular modification. Basically making like a poisonous grenade. 
which will require biomass, mycelia, and nobelisks. So let's uh, quickly have a recap of our mam tree since we're here looking at it. Alien research. So what do we need down here? This is going to be those data capsules, the um, crystal oscillators, and the high-speed connectors under the Caterium tree. Oh, in fact, we can actually research this one. AI limiters. We have that researched now. Boom, that's taken care of. Um, next would be the Mark II power poles. We can do that because we have a bunch of quick wire on us. Perfect. More research we're getting done. And then high speed connectors. I just you don't have enough not. quick wire. So let us head over to where's our quick wire manufacturing? It is just up over here because what I'm doing is I'm bringing all of that quick wire just over to storage here. Which I should have this going into an awesome sink because there's a lot of quick wire just sitting here. It's not doing jack. And that could go into an awesome sink to make us some tickets. I do have the quartz right now being dumped into an awesome sink as well as I have our small little production line right here that is just anything I have in my inventory. I can just throw it in here and it goes in the awesome sink. Uh, but here, Caterium Tree. High speed connectors. Well, that's done now. Perfect. We're you're cruising right along here. So the next step is going to take us a little bit more because we're going to need to actually manufacture the AI limiters, manufacture the high speed connectors, um, and then that will get us supercomputers. It'll also get us the smart splitters, as well as the bullet bullet guidance system as well. Um, and then, once we get supercomputers, we get into the programmable splitters and also the geothermal generators. So, and I want to say there are some geysers that are pretty close to us to be able to generate some power from. So that'll be kind of nice to have. Nutrients, done. Power slugs, we still need to find a purple one. Quartz, crystal oscillators, novelists, crystal oscillators, crystal oscillators, Seems like crystal oscillators is kind of where we're going to be going next, I think. As far as production lines, we got to get done. And then under the sulfur tree, we need to make some black powder. We need to make the, the, the novelists. And then that'll branch out into the next few trees that are got. Oh, hey, look at this. We can turn this in. Do I have a hard drive sitting over here? I don't know if I do. I don't. We need to find another hard drive and we can get that alternative fuel um, as an option for us there. So that's something that we get to look forward to. Um, but let's see now. I got to go and gather up a bunch more things so that we can continue turning in our tier five and tier six milestones. All right, let us head over to select milestone tier five. We're doing gas masks. We can now be able to crank this out, rubber, plastic, and the cloth or the fabric we have all of that launch away that milestone is now complete tier five is done we have completed Last tier five now we're going into tier six so this is jetpacks uh enter to skip motors rubber um fuel which we've got we just got to go and gather up some more rubber and some motors for that and then it looks like it's just a lot of like gathering up some materials and then kind of waiting for the mam to return waiting for that pod to the, the i guess it's the ada pod or whatever waiting for that to return and land for us so um i'm gonna go run around and gather up the materials we need to be able to get that finished off okay we have our pod returned so let's go back let's go to jetpacks select this milestone we're throwing in some fuel we're throwing in some rubber it looks like a little bit of plastic as well as some motors launch away that milestone is now completed, so we're just going to wait now, gather up a few more things, and wait for that to come back. And now we are just waiting for the pod to finish landing, and we can turn in our next milestone here. Any second now, we might as well head over here to the computer. Let's select it. Let's go to monorail, select milestone. We are adding in 100 heavy modular frames. We're adding in 600 steel pipe. 
another 500 of steel beams and 50 computers launch away. We now have the monorail system. While we're waiting for the pod to return, we might as well spend... I went and grabbed 29 of our fixmas... Our uh, fixmas... Our fixing coupons. And we might as well grab a few more things here. Uh, let's start with foundations. We have 29 that we can work with, so I think I might... You know, I'm going to grab all of the foundation stuff because then it gives us a little bit more stuff to be able to play with. So foundations, that one, that was what, three, seven. Uh, back to foundations. This one is six tickets for this one. That takes us to 13. Another five is 18. Another five is 23. 25. A double ramp set. I think I already got. You know what? I want to say I already had those. Some of the foundation ones I already did. So you'd think it wouldn't add it back into your cart. Or did I? Let me look at my foundations here. Oh, you know what? We didn't. We just did the double ram. I didn't do the reverse one, so that's okay. But double ramp, I'm surprised that it still added it to the, the list here. So what are we at? We're at 24 now. Double ramp sets. I, why would that? Oh, it already says purchased. Okay, so when you click on it, it does say purchased. This should, um, in the interface here, is actually gray this out. So that, I, so that you know it's already purchased. So, um, Wall section here. We could get, you know what? I want the conveyor walls. That is going to take us, I think that actually fills it right there. That's going to be 29 by all. That is all taken care of. So we've used up all the tickets we had. But now if we look under our construction here. Did it not go through? Oh, hey, it says we still have the tickets. Why didn't it? Obviously, I screwed something up. Add to cart. Foundations. Add to cart. Oh, look, it, now it's actually showing this is grayed out. Quickly re-add all these foundations in. Because I do eventually want to get to building more aesthetically pleasing by all. Clearly, I'm screwing something up. So I'm going to take this, add to cart, buy it. That's been bought. Okay, good. Uh, somewhere in the math, it wasn't working. Add to cart, buy all. Okay. That one worked. Add to cart. That one worked. Add to cart. Buy all. Okay, we're good that way. Buy all. Add to cart. Buy all. And then we were going to walls. Oh, so you know what? Mathematically, it wasn't adding up right because after we purchased those, it didn't work out to 29 tickets. And that actually said that we had 29 so we're not going to be able to get the conveyor walls. What else can we get? We got four tickets left. We could go with steel framed windows. Let's add that. I'm going to buy that one. And we have one ticket left. I don't think there's anything really in the one ticket end of things. Organization. Anything here that's one ticket. Street lamps. The other storage containers. There's got to be something better. Management. Oh, the the floor holes for the conveyors. The hypertube floor holes. Pipeline floor holes. You know what? I'm going to add that one. Add to cart. Let's go that. Let's buy all. Okay, that's taking care of what we've got for tickets right now. 
And this is, we are slowly ticking away some more uh, based off of the quartz that's getting dumped into the system. So, And we're still waiting for the pod to return for being able to turn in our final milestone for Tier 6. The pod is finally returning. Ready to land for us. It's going to spin around so that it can dock properly. Yay for us. Okay, let's head over to our final milestone we're selecting the milestone it is pipeline engineering this is going to get us the mark ii pipes and mark ii pumps and we're just kind of waiting for it to finish docking i might have to relaunch back into it here select it oh we've already got the milestone selected that's perfect okay uh we are adding in a thousand copper pipe we are adding in 400 plastic, we're adding in 400 rubber, and we are adding in 50 modular frames. Launch away. Tier 6 is now also complete. Improved pipelines and pump. So, what does that mean now? Well, we can't continue on until we unlock phase 3 of the space elevator. So, space elevator upgrade needs versatile framework, modular engines, and adaptive control units. Well, I think the only thing we're making here right now is the versatile framework. I want to say there is some spot up there in the steel manufacturing where the versatile framework is getting done. So that means we need to be making modular engines and adaptive control units so that we can unlock tiers seven and tiers eight with our phase three space elevator upgrade. So that's what we get to look forward to in the next episode. But for this episode, I'm gonna say we are complete. So what do we need you to do? We need you to reach down and hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel uh, because about 90% of you that are watching my videos are unsubscribed to the channel. So if you could reach down, hit that subscribe button, that would be fantastic. Feel free to leave a comment on the video as well in case, uh, you know, let me know uh, what you think of the starter base, what you think of update six so far, and uh, our progress that's been happening here. You can also follow me on social media. That's at Terrace DWDC, and that's available on Instagram and Twitter. With that all said, you guys have yourself a good one, and we will see you in the next episode.